Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to discuss a potential pain point when it comes to dealing with date time data that's contained within a fact table in Power BI. Now you can potentially encounter an issue when joining your fact table to a calendar table. Specifically, if you import a fact table into your model with a date time column and convert that column to a date data type in the model instead of Power Query. If you do this, then that relationship still won't work until you make that data type change in Power Query itself. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and see the solution. Now what I have in front of us is the top visual here is basically using a date field from the actual data or fact table itself. And the bottom one down here has a relationship to the calendar table and I'm trying to display the data by months. But as you can see, nothing is actually showing up here. The relationship isn't working between my calendar table and my data table. So if we actually come in to the model itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the calendar table. The calendar table date column is a date data type that's set up to here and formatted as well. Now let's come over to the data table and we can see as an issue is the fact that we have a date time column. So date time cannot be joined to date data type because they're separate data types that are different granularities and therefore they can't find matching rows because they aren't the same unique values. So you would think a quick solution to this would be is, all right, I can go ahead and come up to data type, go from date time, and I can select date and then go ahead and format that as well to a short date. And now looking at this, you'd think, okay, yeah, this is all I need to do. This should work considering there is a relationship between the two tables, but that's not actually the case. So let's actually see what happened. Come back to my model view. Notice that this is still broken. So I've confirmed that both of these are a date data type. And I've also confirmed over here in the model view that there is a relationship between the two of these and they are the same data type. And the last thing that is always good to confirm as well is do they have the same date ranges? So if I come over to here, I'll notice that this goes from 2016 all the way through 2021. And if I come to my calendar table, I'll notice that that goes from 2016 also to 2021. So I've now just done the three checks that I would normally go through to confirm that a relationship should be working. A, is there a relationship between the two tables? B, are they the same data type? and see, do they share the same values? And all three of these have been checked, but it's still not working. And the reason that this is an issue is because of the way data types are handled both in Power Query and Power BI. In Power BI desktop, in the model itself, in the Veritapak engine, all three data types of date, date time, and date time, time zone are actually all just a single date time data type. The only thing that that change type just did right now is actually formatted it. It didn't actually change the data type. That has to be done specifically in Power Query. Now, before I make that change, I want to show you a website that I found that actually breaks this down very nicely. So let's flip over to that. So here's a blog that I found when I was researching comparing Power Query data types with model data types. That's actually very eloquently done. If you actually scroll down to here, you'll find that there is an embedded Power BI report that contains all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and open this as well and full screen that. And what I want you to observe right here in the middle, these three rows, notice that in M, there is a type date, type date time, and type date time time zone. So there are three distinct data types in any version of Power Query essentially that exists in the Power BI universe. However, in desktop, notice that all three of those are under the umbrella of date time in the model. So when I converted that in the model, I didn't actually convert the data at all. I basically just applied a format to it, which is what's happening. So the summary of this is essentially what I did when I changed the data type in the model, it really kept it as date time. That information is actually still in the model. All of those time elements are there. Therefore, it cannot actually join back to the date data type because in the calendar table, that additional context is not in there as far as the granularity. So they still technically don't have matching rows. I need to actually go into Power Query to basically remove the time dimension that is in that column to allow them to actually key back properly to the calendar table. And if you're interested in the video that you see here, I'll go ahead and link you to that down in the description. But otherwise, let's go ahead and hop back into Power BI. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and edit the query for the data model here. I'm gonna right click on data. I'm gonna select edit query. And what I need to do into here is I need to update the change type step to change this to date only. So I'm going to come up to the little icon here. I'm going to select date and I'm going to replace the current step to update it. There we go. Now we have date only in here and we removed the time dimension from there. And I'm going to close and apply. And now let's come back to our report page and notice that it is now working as a relationship. So you see that there's a little bit of nuance sometimes when the universes are being compared between Power Query and Power BI Desktop. Dates actually get loaded into Power BI Desktop as whatever that date is, 
with 12 a.m. as a time step next to it. Because again, all of those dates are stored as date time in the model. So now the calendar table and the fact table basically have that 12 a.m. storage for the time dimension that's in there and allows them to key together because they both are at the same granularity. I've stripped out that additional time dimension, so now they join properly. So it's a small little gotcha that's in here, but it also does help you understand that there is not a one-to-one -one correlation all necessarily between Power Query and anything that you would find in Power BI Desktop. So I would again check out that uh, blog article that I mentioned that has the embedded report that will really allow you to dig into all of the different data types across Power Query and Power BI, also data flows and a lot of other entities. So it's a great read. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.